Hey everyone, Jeff here from the RevitKid.com. Today I'm going to talk about a specific detail in a residential project that I created. Um, so this is actually a rendering of what we call the Rocky Mountain Modern House, um, mainly because it's in the Rocky Mountains. But uh, if you'll notice, this yellow box that's protruding out of the south elevation, it, uh, it actually includes the yoga room. And part of that was, um, part of the design detail was to sort of shade this room using a slat wall. And so if you look closely, you can see there's these wooden horizontal slat walls. And so I want to talk about how we're going to create that in Revit from scratch. Um, just for an example of another uh, image of it, this is actually from inside the yoga room looking out. And so you'll notice on the uh, left hand side here, uh, we have this wood slat wall sitting outside of our windows. And so what I want to do is talk about how to create this wood slat wall from scratch. And we're not going to use generic models and just create extrusions in place. I promise you it's going to be way better than that. So uh, before we move on, if you enjoy this channel here on YouTube, uh, please subscribe uh, using the subscribe button down below or up top, wherever it is, depending on where you're looking at it. And without further ado, uh, let's move on to the Revit model. So this is the Revit model of the Rocky Mountain Modern House. And as you can see, if I zoom in here, here's our, our yellow box and here is the yoga room. And so if I select this uh, wood slat wall and I isolate it, you can see this is our wood slat wall. And what's really cool about this wood slat wall is not only is it wood slats, which is pretty obvious, um, but you can actually modify it. So if you wanna modify the spacing, for example, I can go in here just like a curtain wall I can go in here and I can make, change the spacing. So it's set to six inches. If I change it to one foot, you can see there we go, I'm changing it. So um, just because I was leading the witness a little bit there, what you can see is I'm actually using a curtain wall family to create this. So I wanna show you how to create this thing from scratch. And to do that, I'm gonna back out of this family or this project, I should say, and I'm gonna create a new project because I want you to know how to do this from scratch. So what I wanna do is I wanna go to file, new, project. And I'm actually going to start with the architectural template. If you start with your own template, that's fine. But I'm going to warn you that you may actually in your in your, your business or your firm or your own, your own personal template, if you've purged it, um, at some point in time, you may actually be missing a specific family that we need. So if you are missing this family, as you're going through this tutorial, um, in order to get it back, it's a system family, and it's built into Revit, you're going to have to start with one of the uh, default Autodesk templates. So just to start, I'm going to use the architectural Autodesk template, and I'm going to click open. So now we have a nice clean slate. I'm going to go to 3D. We're going to do all our work in 3D just because it makes it easier to, for you to understand what's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look at the family browser. So down here on the left hand side, I'm going to pull out the family browser. And I'm going to look for curtain panels. And so I want you to do this in your project because if you don't have this specific curtain panel, it's going to be very difficult for you to make this family. If I expand where it says curtain panels, you'll notice we have two options. We have system panels and we have an empty system panel. And the empty system panel is, one, is what's going to be key. If you don't have this in your template that you're using, then you want to start with the Autodesk template. Okay. So first what we're going to do is we're actually just going to draw a curtain wall. It doesn't matter. We're just going to create a curtain wall and then we're going to make our own type. So I'm going to click, click a wall. I'm going to pull down on the browse to where it says curtain wall. And I'm just going to use curtain wall one. I'm just going to draw a curtain wall. I'm going to change it to shaded so that we can see it a little bit better. There we go there. Okay. So now we just have a curtain wall. What we're going to do is we're actually going to create a new type and we're going to, um, we're going to apply uh, some specific patterns to this type. So let's do edit type. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call it wood slat wall. So now the function I'm going to keep as an exterior automatically embed. I'm going to, I'm going to check that. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter for this one. You may might not want to say automatically embed because um, you might not actually want this to cut holes in windows or in, in, in walls. Um, I'll leave that up to you, but here's the key. So curtain panel, we're actually going to pull down and we're going to look for that empty system panel right here. So that means that anywhere where there's typically a piece of glass in your curtain system, there's actually going to be an empty space. And that's key for creating this wood slat wall. Okay. And for right now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to, um, instead of spending time um, applying mullions to this, we're just going to apply a grid and then we're going to create our wood slat and then we'll apply it again. 
So our vertical grid, um, I'm going to do a horizontal slat wall, just like that example. So we're going to we're going to say none for now. But our horizontal grid, I'm actually going to say a fixed distance. I'm going to set this to eight inches, and then click apply and OK. And now you'll see we actually don't have anything because we have an empty system panel. But the wall is actually there. If I'm highlighting, you can see every eight inches we actually have a grid line. Okay. So what we need to do is we actually need to make our wood slat curtain mullion. So I'm going to go back to my families over here. And we're actually just going to use our rectangular mullion family because we already have it there. So we might as well use it. So I'm pulling down where it says curtain wall mullions. I'm going to expand where it says rectangular mullion. And I'm just going to take any one of these. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate. So I'm just using the square for now. And I'm going to call this one wood slat. If you have multiple sizes of wood slat, you obviously want to call it those sizes. We're just going to use wood slat. And I'm going to double click it. And you'll see we have the ability to control specific things. So we'll leave our thickness to one inch. And our width, width on one side, let's do one inch as well. And maybe this is one inch. Or you know what, let's do it a little bit more. Two inches and two inches, sure. And the key here also is changing the material. We don't want it to be aluminum. So I'm going to click where it says aluminum. I'm going to add a material. Let's see if there's any wood we can use in here. Maybe we'll use wood stained. If you want to create your own material, go for it. I'm just going to apply a wood stained material. I'm going to leave the offset at zero, and I'm going to leave the thickness at one inch. We could always change this after the fact, but the key is we want to have our actual type ready. So let's click OK. Now if we select our curtain wall again, remember it's this invisible wall we created. I'm going to go to Edit Type. And now I can apply my mullions to the um, horizontal grid. So under horizontal mullions, I can say interior type. And if I pull that down, I have my wood slat. And if I want to do borders as well, I can do borders as, as the, um, the wood slat if we wanted to. We don't necessarily have to. Um, as you notice in the other one, we didn't have it, but I'm just going to apply it for now. So what you see here is I have my fixed distance at, distance at eight inches, and I have my interior and my horizontal borders all at um, all applied to the wood slat, which is the family we just made. So if I click apply and click OK, you'll see we actually have a nice wood slat wall. And so sometimes the reason you might not want to do that border is because you'll get these kind of conditions. Um, by default, these horizontal slats are actually going to be set up to justify from the beginning. If you look over on the left here at the properties, I'm going to say center and click apply. And so it'll try and work it out. But the key here is that now, because it's a wall, if I adjust the length of this thing, look at that, we have our slats adjust. If I adjust the height of it, our slats adjust. If I adjust the height of it this way and this way, you can see it all completely adjusts. So it's a really nice, easy, and simple way to create wood slats. Even if I split this thing, um, the slats will all adjust. So there we go, now we have two walls we can delete them and so on and so forth. And so you can see where the freedom comes into play to create this. And if you want to do horizontal slats for some reason, all you have to do is add a horizontal grid and so on and so forth. And so that's really it. As you can see, it's extremely simple. And um, those quick little tips um, will get you to creating some really cool slat walls and hopefully saving you a lot of time while you do it.